Do you want airsoft guns? Do you want airsoft guns, but brown? KWA did one of the simplest upgrades you can do to a gun. They friggin' painted them. And now that's what we call the KWA FDE series. FDE stands for Flat Dark Earth. <gasps> right now, KWA has only done it to four guns. My favorite, the T-10, which I'll talk about, and its little brother, the T-6. Man, I love being the little brother of the T-10. Man, I love giving you a hard time all the time. You should stay out of my room. They also did it with the TK-45C and its big brother, the TK-45. How come whenever mom does your laundry, she always complains that your socks are always sticky? Uh, uh, mom. We'll start with the little guy. I've already done several videos on the T-6. The T-6, I believe was the first gun KWA ever gave me because it was the first payment I ever requested back when I went to Chicago with them. I was like, yeah, yeah, pay me, cool. Give me a T6. This thing is super fun. It's a little small for me. If you like that PDW style of M4, uh, I think this is one of the best on the market. It does have the 2.5 AEG, so you can adjust the FPS through the back. I think I've had mine go up to like 360-ish, and I think it'll go down to about like the 330s, so it's, it's a pretty good variation uh, for that 350 mark on some fields. Some high caps might fit in here. Uh, like I think the PTS EPM high caps will fit in here, but most of the metallic ones will not fit in the KWA T6. Why are you gonna buy a $300 rifle and go janky on magazines? Just buy PTS mid caps, you peasants. I have seen dudes HBA tap this thing. You don't see it often, uh, cause I think it's kind of a pain in the butt to install. And usually if kids are running an HBA rifle, they don't want a metal rifle. They usually want plastic so it's lighter. They can do all like a oh, I'm banned. Oh, call your hits. I'm not banned. You're banned. Spoiler alert. My favorite guns in Airsoft, obviously the G&G SSG-1. You've already seen how much content I do with that. And my KWA Ronin T10. This obviously isn't mine, but the one that I have. So if you go to the field, uh, the premium rental that I have where I put the aftermarket rail on it, that's a Ronin T. That's mine. That's my gun. If I want to do stuff with like a, a conventional M4 rifle, this is the one I go with. The Ronin T10, I think, is the most slept on gun that KWA sells. Uh, I think the AEG-3 recoil system, that electronic recoil system they have, or the recoil shot, blah, 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 whatever, I think that is a highly underrated feature in this gun because if you drop an 11 volt battery in it, it's so good. With any of these KWA guns, they come with a uh, those like an, those mini fuses, they come with 20s, swap them out for at least two, 25s if you wanna run an 11 volt battery because you will pop that fuse. Some guys are like, oh no, they could totally handle that. No, 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 stop, listen to me. Listen to a guy that's popped tons of fuses. Don't use 20 fuses in these KWA guns if you run an 11 volt you want to run 25s. The only thing I've seen go wrong with some of these KWAs is sometimes if kids are really spamming and they're playing like three days a week and they're putting this gun through the paces, the factory motor will start to burn out. I've seen two KWA motors burn out on these, uh, but they weren't upgrading the internals. So what they were trying to do with the gun was beyond what the gun was built to do like the, the 11 volt batteries and all, all that other stuff. HBA tapping in is kind of pointless because it takes away from the recoil system, which is the primary feature of this gun. What I really like about the FDE series, if you look at like what G&G did with like a lot of their Raider 2s and their, their CM Mod 18s, KWA recognized that one of the first things kids want to do is paint the damn gun. So they did it for you. So now it has this cool uh, base brown to it, with the black accents that I think is really aesthetically cool. The allowance friendly Chris Vector is the TK45C. These things run about 350, 360. They're about anywhere between 80 to $100 cheaper than a Chris Vector. Just as fun, I love these things just as much. And it comes in FDE. I don't know if this one is gonna be as popular with some kids because uh, I don't see a lot of cosplay loadouts or anime loadouts or sci-fi loadouts where it has like this two-tone. It's usually just all black and they paint from there. But the fact that they gave the 45 c some love, I think is real groovy. This is still a super fun gun. The gun that few airsofters no love and respect is the TK-45. You really don't see these a whole lot at fields. I don't know why. It's super fun to play with. Same AEG-3 system that the Ronin has. 
Uh, it just is a big boy friendly sci-fi gun. Because I'm a big boy. I don't really like tiny guns. This is my pick out of the two TK-45s. The other great thing that KWA didn't do with these guns is they didn't charge any more for the all black or the FTE model. So some guns you'll see like, oh, you could get like the black variation of this gun for $200, but you can get the uh, the brown and black or the two-tone equivalent for 10, 20 bucks more. I looked on Evike specifically. Evike does not upcharge this, the, the paint scheme or whatever. I didn't see it on the KWA website unless I looked at something wrong, but it doesn't look like anyone is charging more or less for one gun versus the other, which I think is the mark of a good retailer. That's just me. Any of these guns are super fun to play with. Uh, I've shot plenty of kids in the face with all four of these guns. They scream just as loud. Uh, it doesn't really, one, does, one doesn't necessarily perform better than the other, I think. It really comes down to what aspects of your individuality or what what do you want the rifle or what do you want your airsoft gun to do do you want it just to be another standard black m4 cool yeah okay you can get the black bottle the normal bottle of this or do you kind of want to take it a step up and do like some aesthetic stuff with it and add a little bit more personality to your gun and sort of get away from the conventional uh you know all black rifle kind of thing and start to express some individuality by doing something as simple as coloring your gun and then maybe adding some different features to it. Yeah, dude, that's kind of what this nerdy game's about. Keep in mind, the T10 and the T6 are from the Ronin series and the two TK45s are kind of their own independent series. They didn't do an FDE series for any of the QRFs. They didn't do for the Mod 1, Mod 2, or Mod 3. Tom, look right here, Debbie, right here, right in my eyes. Do this to the Mod 1, please. It will sell, you know it will sell. Stop not doing this. Caber, who the f are you, nerd?